Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I'm so surprised this morning because we were able to catch a big monitor lizard that's responsible for killing all our chickens. Actually, in the past, we had a vlog about someone or maybe a dog has uh, killed my chickens and it was so stunning that we actually caught or my people actually caught this big monitor lizard and I believe that this is the culprit of the phenomenon that we have actually experienced here in the farm. So I hope that there are no other lizards that are roaming around to eat our chicken. And this is the reason why I said that in everyday challenge in the farm, we really have to deal with the challenges like the lizards, the stray dogs, and the disease, the virus that may contaminate our farm animals. And this is what I said that in farming, this is really very challenging because you will spend money, of course. You will spend your time, your energy, your attention, and even your money is what I've said. And sometimes you will just waste everything because of the uncontrolled uh, factors or event. And this is one that I have mentioned, the presence of the predators like this monitor lizard. Well, for today's video, allow me to just have a, you know, um, update about the beautification of our, of our stage here. And um, we also would like to tell you that we already initially put the water and the water is quite deep now, but uh, we have to make some adjustments of the wall because the partition of that portion, the wallings, have cracked. So I decided to improve everything because we anticipate here volumes of water and this is not just an ordinary volume. That's why we have to uh, see to it that as soon as we gonna discover some cracks we will immediately address the issue because i imagine that if we're gonna put all the fish and then all of a sudden the walls will crack then that would be a disaster so this is what we're doing now at my back you can see ducks that are actually um scavenging for food and they have this capacity to you know um immerse themselves in, uh, in the water and look for food. And this is also one of the qualities that the, this uh, Muscovy ducks possess. And uh, by the way, I would like you to have a glance of our goats because I noticed that one of the pregnant mamas is about to deliver the baby. So come on, let's go over there. And these goats are actually standing now because they're red big. Come on, let's go. So, since we already have injected the vitamins, then of course, the next uh, activity would be the feeding session. You know, feeding these goats would just uh, require us a, an effort. I mean, you will not spend a lot of money for your goats, but you have to spend for the vitamins, especially if they are caged, if they are sheltered like this. But if they are um, pastured, then I believe we cannot uh, be required to give vitamins that often. But since they are sheltered, they are here, they cannot uh, have the choice except to give the vitamins, the dose of these vitamins. And these are very important. And uh, you know, goat farming is quite challenging because they're always uh, disturbed by the diarrhea. And this diarrhea, if not treated, would certainly affect their health. So my, I, my idea of preventing this is to, from time to time, allow them to, you know, um, tour around and have an exercise. And of course, the banana leaves is very important. Banana leaves is one of the easiest way in how to control this diarrhea. And there are plenty of banana leaves here. That's why we are not worried about the diarrhea anymore because we can just give banana leaves of course in worst case scenario if this uh, um, diarrhea is caused by 
a strong infection, we have to treat them with antibiotics. And these are the things that we have observed here in the goat farm. And I was asked, which is better, the piggery or the goat farming? I would like to say that it depends, of course, because the uh, piggery needs a remote place because it emits foul odor. The pigs are really that uh, stinky. But these goats can just be raised even in an area where there are neighbors because they are not that stinky. They are not, they cannot emit foul odor. So these are actually manageable. And especially if you only have 20, 30 goats, that's manageable. That's why I said in my last vlog that if you have a goat farm, then you need not a big space because you can just contain them in their cages. So guys, you look at the uh, sunrise, she's very tense but uh, she is now actually very pregnant that I suspect that two weeks from now, the Sandra will deliver baby. But of course, we cannot, we cannot stress Sandra of course. Slowly, this is the injection. Hi son. Two ml of this vitamins. Okay, okay, it's all right. It's all right, Sandra. Okay, okay, you can go now. Well, I would like to say that there are many myths about the uh, goat farm, about the goats actually. Because these goats, they said, will not drink water. And it's not true because they are water drinkers actually and I am making sure that every day they have this available uh, water supply. Well, Rudy is disturbing. Rudy doesn't really want camera. That's why we can, that's why we are doing this very quickly because uh, Rudy will really become angry when the camera is uh, actually focused upon him. But uh, this is already suffice. I mean, um, we already have uh, discussed with you some important insights about the goat farm and I would like to re recapitulate that we can use banana leaves to prevent diarrhea we have to inject vitamins and we have to provide clean water on a daily basis for our goats of course together with the salt so these are the things that we can share so far Count of three. And come, come, come. <laughs> so we have come a long way. We are actually building our mini zoo here. And I would like to tell you that we were able to get the uh, collector's permit, wildlife collector's permit for these monkeys already. And it's good that uh, we were able to register them with our government, of course, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. And as you look around here, we are trying to develop a mini zoo and with our goats, with our peacocks, and many more. Of course, these are animals which has permits, of course. We cannot just operate without the permission from the government, and uh, that's I would like to emphasize. And for for this vlog, I would like to end this vlog by saying 
please be with me because we are an inch away from our goal. And that is to be able to establish an ecotourism park. So I would like to see you in my next video. We have winners for our t-shirts, of course. And uh, if you are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly. And if you will subscribe, you will be notified of our future uploads. Say bye-bye! See you in the next video! <laughs> Say bye-bye! Oh! <laughs>